right. Um, hello, party people. Um, how's, how's my audio? OK, awesome. Um, yeah, thank you for joining me in this session. Uh, my name is Christopher Wynn. I'm the product manager for Windows Terminal, um, Cascadia Code, and Windows Developer Machines. Um, my Twitter handle is Windows, which is a pun on my last name and the word Windows. I'm funny, haha. -ha. Um, so we're, we have a jam-packed um, session today. So the whole goal of today's session is um, for me to teach you folks how to customize your terminal for productivity. And to do this, um, I'll touch on a couple points. The first is um, I'll make a high-level overview of what is Windows Terminal. I'm going to walk you folks through um, creating a new profile live, because as Cobra Kai said, no fear. Um, I'm going to talk about tabs, panes, and actions, and finish this up with um, with um, uh, some tips on how to use terminal icons and oh my posh to trick out your PowerShell. So um, to start off, what is Windows Terminal? So Windows Terminal is a host application for command line shells. And this includes shells such as command prompt, PowerShell, and WSL. So if you have command prompt, PowerShell, and WSL, Windows Terminal recognizes that, and it will create the profiles for those shells for you. And because we're a host application and not a shell, we can do cool things like um, render text with different colors, change and add background images, split panes, and more. Um, we're available in like um, different flavors. We have Windows Terminal, um, which is like you know, our stable like release, and we also have Windows Terminal Preview, um, which is like our preview version. Version, and you can get both from um, the store and get both. Um, via Winget, and the cool thing is you can have both installed on your machine, and they won't like conflict with each other. So you'll be safe. Um, also, subtle plug, we're also open source, so please check us out at github.com slash Microsoft slash terminal. We always welcome new contributors, so join the party. Um, so, but enough um, about me like talking about terminal, let's um, look at terminal. So escape, and what I will do is open up Windows Terminal. So um, Let's see, I opened up Windows Terminal. And uh, first terminal tip, um, if you can do Control and move your scroll bar up, you'll be able to um, increase the text size. So by default, um, I have my PowerShell profile set up as my, as my default profile. Um, if you click on the drop down here, you'll see like a whole bunch of um, other profiles that I have on my machine, such as Command Prompt, WSL and like another um, version of PowerShell, PowerShell 7.40 preview. Um, one thing um, you may notice is if you look at my PowerShell profile, um, you can see that the background's black, the text is pink, and the icon is red. How I did this was um, what I can do is within my settings, I can click on each individual profile and basically change things up. I can change um, my icon, so I can change it to a red icon, and also can do things like um, change my starting directory, change the name of my profile, and also um, change my appearance in additional settings. So if I go in appearance, I can change my color scheme, which is how I got this color. So um, by default, like terminal comes with about like eight or nine color schemes, um, but you can also create your own like color schemes as well um, via the settings UI. So if you click here on color schemes, you can see like um, a whole bunch of color schemes that I made outside of um, you know the ones that are included, which are pretty much um, subtle nods slash pop cultural references. But um, yeah, these are my color schemes. So. Um, in the, prof in, the in the profile settings, um, we have the default settings, which um, these settings, um, they're applied to all the profiles um, unless they're overwritten by like another profile setting. So um, whatever I do here in my PowerShell setting, like it will override the defaults. So um, one of the cool things that you can do to make um, yourself more productive as a developer or like an IT pro or even a student is um, create a new profile and basically um, set up that profile to your liking. So um, let's, take, um, let's take this example. Say, for, pretend, that I am a, um, pretend that I'm a Node.js developer, and you know, every day for my work, um, I wake up, I open my computer, um, and I know for a fact that um, I have to go to the same Node project every morning and do like an NPM start command. That's like, you know, repetitive. Um, it's a little bit of toil. So let's make a profile that can help us with that. So, um, 
I'll add a new profile here. And to make things quicker, I'll just duplicate an existing profile like WSL. I'll do duplicate. And then um, what I can do, um, what I should do next is just rename the profile. So I'll call it node. And because I know like I'll be um, running npm start like um, a lot, and like I want to, you know, run that npm start command in my node project, what I'll do is I'll change the starting directory to the directory of like my node project. In this case, it's like node.js sample, and I will expand this command line um, section and add npm start. So what I'll do next is save. And ideally, um, what will happen is um, if I open up this dropdown, you'll see that that node profile is like um, on there. So if I click on this node profile, what happens here is, um, give it a sec, whenever I open up this profile, um, what happens is I go into WSL, I start off at that node project directory, and um, it'll run that npm start command. So I know like this is like not like the best, like um, not the most super technical example. Like this is a very low level example, but hopefully like um, this sort of, ins sort of inspires you folks to like you know maybe make your own like profiles for things that you do like like every day. Like maybe like connecting to like a Kubernetes cluster or even uh, SSHing into like a Raspberry Pi. Or even just calling a like API to, for stocks to check your stocks. So that's um, that's pretty much um, one example of profiles. Um, the next thing I want to actually let's close this real quick. Next thing um, I want to touch up on is tabs. So um, you know with with terminal um, we can do cool things with tabs. Um, we can double click it to rename the tab. So I can rename it. Rename it. I can also right click it to change the color of the tab because a fun fact I learned like a couple weeks ago is sometimes we want our tabs to be red so it's, you know, it looks scary because production. Um, we also do things like um, duplicate the tab or even split the tab. So if I click split tab here, I just split the tab. So we see PowerShell, a PowerShell profile on the left and a PowerShell profile on the right. But what if I want to split the tab again but not in PowerShell, but in command prompt. Well, what I can do is I can click the drop down here, hover over the profile I want to um, split or open as like a split, um, a split in the current window, hit Alt and click, and that should give me PowerShell as a split pane. And I can do the same thing over here on the left for WSL. So there we go. So that's pretty much um, that's pretty much tabs and split panes. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is actions. So let me um, tidy things up by closing these. So um, what actions essentially are are um, basically like key bindings. So um, we have like a bunch of actions here, like um, you know, close pane to do this, you do Control Shift W. Um, close window, Alt F4, but if you want to edit, like um, if you don't like these key bindings, these default key bindings, you can edit them. Or like um, make your make a new action, um, like add a scroll mark or um, anything in this like selection, like for example, close tab, and then set the key binding um, for yourself. Like I can do Control Z. Ooh, oh. yep. It looks like I already used it for uh, practice, so yeah. <laughs> Let's do uh, something like, I don't know, Control Q. Oh, yeah, let's override it. What else, what, what could go wrong? But yeah, that's pretty much it for actions. If you're a huge fan of like key bindings, um, you know, feel free to look at actions and you know, customize actions to um, yeah, your, your preferences. So, that's it for actions, um, and let's go back to the PowerPoint. So, let's see, the last thing I want to cover is um, how you can make your PowerShell profile look cooler using um, terminal icons and oh my posh. So, to make um, your terminal look cooler, at least in like PowerShell, um, what you can do is first install nerd font. So what a nerd font is, is essentially a font that has um, icons and glyphs. And this also includes 
icons of like, I guess like popular like tech things, sort of like, like a GitHub logo, a Docker logo, a, um, the JavaScript logo. Um, so yeah, nerd fonts, like they come with a lot of like um, icons and glyphs. And what you can also do in PowerShell is install the, um, this module called terminal icons, which will add more, um, more of these like um, terminal specific icons to your PowerShell and then add that to your uh, PowerShell profile. And the last thing you can do is also install this thing called um, Oh My Posh, which is a um, prompt theme engine. So uh, basically what it is, is um, once you install Oh My Posh, you'll be able to access some of the um, cool themes that are available on Oh My Posh's website and then add that theme to your profile. So I already have all that set up. So what I will do is um, open up my PowerShell profile And I'll zoom in. And um, to open up my PowerShell profile, I'll do code profile. And this opens things up in um, Visual Studio. So you can tell that like I pretty much set this up. Um, this is a scripted demo. Um, so I'll uncomment this oh my posh line. So basically what I'm doing here um, is setting my theme to the M365 princess theme, which is um, available in oh my posh. So once that's done, um, what I'll do is move to my node um, sample project and do an LS. So the cool thing, so this first thing I'm showing you is um, the terminal icon. So um, let me actually zoom into this more. So because we have terminal, um, terminal icons, um, some of the files and some of the directories that we have um, seen right here in like our command line has like some icons attached to it. Like for example, like that node modules folder, um, it has like a folder icon, it has the NPM logo on that folder icon. Um, the public folder, you know, has folder icon, git nor, has git icon, so on and so forth. Um, but this is just terminal icons, so let me um, open a new terminal instance where I have Oh my posh. Okay, so let me zoom in some more. So yeah, oh my posh. You know we have, we have this cool um, M365 princess theme. But um, one thing I want to highlight about these themes is they're not only for um, you know looking cool visually. But if I go back to that Node.js sample repository, we can see that um, yeah, it shows what not only what um, what, what directory I'm in, but also like what branch I'm in and like what version of node like I'm on. And I guess having like a timestamp is cool too. But yeah, that's pretty much it for um, my demo. Um, hopefully, you know, you walk away with some, um, you know, you learn something cool about terminals today and hopefully um, take what you learn to either make, um, make a profile that's, that helps your productivity or even just walk out the room with a really cool looking terminal theme. And yeah, that's it for me.